we've got an unboxing. Today, we are doing an unboxing. This just came about an hour ago. It's a box. Inside that box, I think there's gonna be other boxes. This is the Nova Stella B-Link Smart LED Floodlight. Now, I keep calling it Blink, but it's not, it's B-Link. So let's get the tool out. I've not got this out of the box yet. So actually, anything could be in here. I'll get this out and it'll be something completely unrelated. It'd be some bedding, something like that. It better be the B-Link. Let's take a look. Now this set is a RGB 25 watt four pack. And it was down by 6%, down from $106 to $100 on Amazon. And I bought this all by myself. Ooh, we got poppy things. And then we've got a box. So, let's take, ooh, there's some delicate stuff in here. Right, that's what we've got. So, you're seeing it for the first time, just like I am. So this is a Nova Stella B-Link Smart LED Floodlight RGB 25 watt, four pack, 2700K to 6500K floodlights. What the Ks mean, I have no clue. Remember, this is a layman's unboxing. This is for people like me who, it just, it's just a fancy box. Let's see what's in it, shall we? So the idea of this is you're supposed to be able to control the lights with your smartphone and we'll take a look at that app and then you have four of these floodlights that independently plug in so they do need power they're not solar um, and then you can change and I think they connect to each other via some kind of Bluetooth method although they don't connect to your phone via Bluetooth um, so let's take a look at what's inside the box Look at that, <laughs> four little windows. So they're very small lights. No, I'm just kidding, there we go. That's what we were looking for. Let's get one of these babies out. So first impressions, they're nice and heavy. The, the, I feel like the, well, it's metal of some kind. Um, already has a frame attached to it so you know you can I guess you can peg that into your ground or you can fix it to a wall these are obviously adjustable so and then we have the communication aerial on top all right let's get the cutting tool out of the way we don't need you anymore put them over there all right so what's in the box you get one two, three, four of the lights. This is the one I just showed you. So it's worth noting that there are no buttons, no physical buttons anywhere on this. None at all. Interesting. So there is no way to control this other than with the app. They, are, they, they do feel good quality, I'll give it that. The, the glass is some kind of tempered, I guess, well they're meant for outdoors as well as indoors, so obviously it's protected. I don't know which way this has been wound. There we go. All right, ooh, it's not bad. So you get probably about four feet. It's about four feet of cable, three or four feet. Um, like I said, this is kind of a, a hard tempered kind of glass on the front. So, um, and a nice brand in there, Nova Stella branded on the front. So you can't mistake what it is, uh, and adjustable hinges. So 
It's one thing I didn't think about. These are going to go in the ground. I'm going to have to find some spikes to fix that in the ground. And then the power cable is, does have actually, I don't know if you can see that under there. It does have a, I'm not going to want to do that. I don't want to mess up the power cable. Because <laughs> I would get it out and it would never go back together again. I promise you that. I keep looking at the monitor rather than the camera, so don't think my eyes are cockeyed. You know what I'm saying? Right, so we do get four of them. And there is, other than, we'll have a look at this instruction bag in a second. There is nothing else. I'm making a lot of noise. Fast forward through this bit. I did that as fast as I possibly could for you. All right, so you get four of them. Beauties. This, my goodness. I expected a little two page pamphlet thing that says, download the app and follow the instructions away you go. Um, but no, you get, how many pages in this? 17, 79, 90? I can't count, can I? 79, 90. 90 pages in this book. Good bedtime reading. So we do have English, German, French, Spanish and Italian languages. So that explains why there are so many pages. Um, interesting book. Don't think there's going to be much. Oh, it tells you how to use the app, which I'm sure the app's going to tell you how to use the app. How to use, how to control the light with Amazon Alexa. So, you can buy, I believe, and I've got to, I've got to verify this because I've not really checked it, but I believe you can buy a hub that you plug in and connect to your router at home that then allows you to control these lights via Alexa. There is another one, there is another set of these, same manufacturer, Novastella, called the Blaze. Now the Blaze looks slightly different. I'll see if I can put an image on screen around about somewhere around about there. Um, but the Blaze goes landscape rather than portrait, which is what these are. And that right out of the box is is controllable um, via Alexa or Google uh, Assist. Those two, I'm not sure about any others, but it's controllable by those two smart home type apps. I, I read some reviews on the Blaze and the reviews I got was this, this one, the non-Blaze one, seems to provide more light. Um, which is great because I'm using it as a floodlight, so having it provide more light is going to be pretty useful. Um, but for now, let's shove these to one side. Let's take a look at the app. Let's download the app and see what's going on with that. Okay, come and have a closer look, come on. Okay, so there is, in the booklet, there is a QR code that you can scan. Uh, to download the Smart Life app, which is what you need. Um, eh, we don't need that. Let's do this. So, this is, I'm on Android. This is a uh, Samsung Note, I don't know, 20 Ultra, is it? Whatever it is. So let's go and search for, eh, go away. Smart Life, it was called, wasn't it? Smart life. There we go. So let's install that Smart Life app. Okay, the app's downloaded and it's installed. So let's open it up, see what's what's about. So first of all, user agreement. Yada yada yada. Does anybody actually ever read any of those? Agree. Sign up because I don't have an account. So I believe there is a try now button. That try now button allows you to just try the functions of the lights without actually um, 
creating an account. So, but my understanding is it's limited in functionality, so you can't get all the functionality available with the lights. But it's a good way to try it and see if you like them before you know you either keep them or make a decision to send them back. So we're not gonna do the try now. I don't have an account, so I can't log in. So we're gonna go for the full bag of machines and sign up. Okay, let's put in the email address. Okay, so now we're on the usual. Can we, will you let us do data analysis? Allow us to recommend content. So yeah, I don't want you to recommend content and you don't need to do any collection of data from me. Product usage, don't need any of that nonsense. So let's go to the app. All right, so let's plug one in. Tap add, yeah, got it. That's just showing me. Add the location. Allow only while using the app. That's the one. Use precise location. That's what I needed. I needed it to, to allow the location accuracy as well. So now it should find it. There we go. So you've got to allow location accuracy which makes sense so let's add that smart floodlight found one device i think it's installing looks like something's going round in a circle oh it just flashed and then we've got a checkbox so next done all right Boom, so let's take a look at, wow. Let's take a look at the, can I dim it? Oh yeah, so that dimmed it. I know you can't tell so much from there. That dimmed it right down. That's as low as it will go. So then if we go to color, ooh, we have all sorts of different colors. Look at that, let's go blue, turn it off. Bish bash bosh, back on, look at that. And then you go to your whites and you can have a softer, softer white. You've got a lot of control over that. I don't think that middle one does anything. Okay. And then you've got, again, you've got your brightness. This is a very easy to use app, very easy. And then you can rename it, which is good because when you set it up outside, give it a name. What's in the more? So in the more you can schedule uh, power on behavior. So. When I power it on, restore memory. So go back to what it was the last time it went off. Um, initial mode and customize. So you can customize specific customer, this, uh, specific customer, specific color. So this is a color that I want it to go on when it powers on. So let's get a nice like turquoise blue. Um, initial mode restore memory or customize so you can have it in either of those settings so decent app i'm going to set up the other three and when it gets dark we'll take them outside we'll take them outside set them up and just see how much light they do cast i mean this it's right in front of my eyes so right now it feels like it casts a lot of light it feels like it's really bright, but it is right in my face. So uh, we'll check it out in a few hours when it gets dark. Stand by. So this is where I placed one of ours. You can see I've kind of hidden the cable under the pebbles. Um, and I've done some, uh, I don't know if you can see clearly there, but some spikes that were from Christmas inflatables. I've used those for now. Um, and I'll see how they go. And it's actually supported by the pebbles in the ground. But they seem to work quite well. And then it's pointing at that post and up the pillar. I think that's a little bit overexposed with the sun, but you get the idea. And then over this side, we have similar deal in the ground, kind of laying quite far back because I want them to shine quite a long way up the wall. So, the intention is that it's going to shine all the way up 
this pillar as high as I can get it. So, so this is what it looks in daylight without them. Let's see what it looks like in the dark without them. And then we'll see what it looks like in the dark with them. So this is the front of the house in darkness with the light switched off. And then this is with the lights on. So disclaimer, there are two extra lights on there. Originally, this was the four, the two pillows and one either side of the front and then we did add two there. But you can see this is actually not at full light either. This is um, this is a warm light and it's about 55% brightness. So if I if I can unlock my phone because that's where I'm controlling it from. All right, that's full brightness but on a warm tone so it's not fully you know and then that's a 54% brightness so that gives you a good image of what they look like at night time so that is six RGB 25 watt lights so I forgot how many hundreds of thousands or millions of colors there are <laughs> But there's a lot of uh, so for example you can have a nice red for Halloween a nice green if it's St Paddy's Day for example or a, a blue for I don't know blue day <laughs> purple let's say it's there we go, look at that Halloween. And these are all together. But you can separate them. So I've got them all on a, on a group, but you get the idea. So we can have a nice pink if we want, a Pride Day, or you can have, you can adjust the amount of that color that's in it. So if I do a nice deep blue, let's go to a nice deep blue. Pickle. there we go that's a nice blue and then I can adjust the amount of blue that's in there and so it kind of dilutes it there you go so just a little bit of blue and I can add just a little bit more blue and then just a little bit more blue and a little bit more blue and a bit more and a bit more until you go blue blue and then obviously we have the how bright it all is so we may just want a subtle a nice subtle blue tinge not too bright there or we could have it full bag of mashings full blue full red a bit of dilute red a little bit of red we can have it nice and subtle not too over bright or we can do whoosh. Nice orange if we want it. Or the touch. Oh, and then you also have scenes. So we have leisure scene. We have colourful scene. And I think this changes colour. There you go. Look at that. And I believe you can actually have it change into music as well. Then we've got dazzling. Dazzling. There we go. And then we've got one called Gorgeous. Now that's more a nice, softer change. So that's it. That's it for the review of this little beauty. So I got two boxes of these, um, which we still have two left to put up that we've, that we've not placed anywhere yet. So if you liked this video, um, I'd appreciate you clicking like and uh, subscribing to the channel. We're, uh, we're not, 
you know, professional YouTubers. We just we do what we can to um, bring good information and try and make it a little bit entertaining at the same time. Um, we don't have fancy lighting and everything else. Um, it's just what you see is what you get on the channel. So hopefully you like it. Um, I'd love it if you, if you comment and let me know. Comment and let me know what you like and uh, let me know what you dislike. I don't mind. It's always good to have feedback either way. Um, and um, like I said, click subscribe. Check out some of the other videos on the channel. Hopefully you'll find something useful on there. Um, hopefully you found this one useful. Um, with that being said, thank you for watching and uh, look after yourselves.